can't do it. Just can't. Why do I do this to myself? I got more pussy packets, y'all. I'm sorry. But I'm going to review it. So. We all know that I switched to this brand of dip. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It's called I Switched Dip. I went from Copenhagen to Grizzly. So, I bought a can of, I bought a barn, damn. So I bought me a can of this today. And uh, if you're wondering why that I picked up the dark winter green one is because we're not doing dark winter green. We are doing Grizzly Original Winter Green. I reviewed this dip before, the long cut version, uh, on my channel a while back. But uh, as you can see, we can peel back that that barcode. Come on, focus, focus. Damn it. Okay, it's not, it's not focusing, but let's go. It. So let's peel back that label, and we'll see what kind of, see what number can we got. I peeled back this one. No damn number on it. So I don't know if they stopped, but ha <laughs> Here's a number under this one. <laughs> I've gotten this number before. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 10. Got number 10 again. So, um, I've reviewed pouches before. I reviewed the Copenhagen ones. No, I didn't. No, I did not. Uh -huh, I reviewed Skull. So, yeah, like I said in that one, you don't have to pack it, but for the sake of the video, screw it. So I said that skull ones are pretty dry. Like they look dry. And then I compared them to Copenhagen's and Grizzlies. Well, take what you saw then, compare it to this. This thing is doused in juice. I swear I haven't... Like, just look at that, man. You just pick it up and it's already on your fingers. But... Before we toss the dip in, I'm going to finish my sentence. So... Oh, sorry, a bit tired. I, I mean... Okay, it's only when I record b by myself. When I record with somebody else, I never get this tired. Just because, you know, it's quiet, you know. Not really, just, you know, just by myself. It's a little, it's a little lonely. But, um, yeah. Deed cracked. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be able to show it. To you but before we get into putting a dip in just want to give a little shout out here to Darcy Chris uh, and the whole team that makes these badass platoons and that ladies and gentlemen is my jug no, I don't have a promo code for them yet. Uh, I'm working on it. But, uh, yeah. So, my jug of the day is the Dixie Mud Jug. I don't have a dip in yet. I don't mind I'm spitting. Just a habit when I pick up a mud jug. Just gotta spit. You know? So, let's go ahead and... 
Packs a bit. Where's the wintergreen pouches, y'all? Numero uno. And numero dos. Let's let those sit for a little bit. So, let me elaborate on why that I switched from Copenhagen to Grizzly. Grizzly has a much more bolder taste. And it's pretty soft. Like, when you pick up the long cut, it's a lot softer than, than Copenhagen. And, uh... Although... The pouches aren't really much different than uh, Copenhagen's is as much as juice. It's the taste, man. The taste, see, I love me some Copenhagen. I do. I'm so sad that I switched from Copenhagen. But... I'm a wintergreen guy. Yeah, it's starting to juice up on me now. I'm a wintergreen guy. But man. Okay. I started out on Copenhagen wintergreen. I started out on Copenhagen wintergreen. And I've been dipping it. More than any other dip. More than Grizzly. More than anything. And what I found out to know is that Copenhagen is actually pretty sweet for a dip. And I didn't really want that. So I got a can of Grizzly. I'm just like, you know what? Different from, from Copenhagen. Let's just give it a try. Now, as I said, my Grizzly Dark Wintergreen one, that I talk so much shit about Grizzly. Because I was never a fan of Grizzly's Wintergreen until I tried the Dark Wintergreen. Man, if this comes off shells, I might as well just quit dipping. Grizzly Dark Wintergreen is that good, man. And I want something that's less sweet, more bold. Something that you know that you're dipping tobacco and still have that wintergreen taste. I'm not saying that Copenhagen is artificial. Because if it was artificial, it would taste a lot like Stoker's. And man, I can't say it's Stoker's. I would dip Stokers before I start dipping uh, Kayak, to be honest. But. But, man, let me tell you. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Copenhagen, to me just grew old, you know? If I, were, if I dipped Copenhagen, most likely gonna pick me up a can of Cope LC. Cause that shit was good. Not sure if I, re I'm not sure if I reviewed that or not, but the next time that I go on a dip round, I'm getting, I'm getting me a can. And, I don't know, Copenhagen just has too much of a sweet taste, and I love Copenhagen to death. They're the only dip brand that I get coupons in the mail from, that I even signed up to get 
coupons from. And they're they were my they were my first brand of dip that I've ever tried. And I'm not saying that I'm going to completely switch from Copenhagen to Grizzly. I'll still dip Copenhagen. Copenhagen, it will always be my favorite. I'm just switching brand flavors. And I forgot to mention that. I'm a big wintergreen guy. Okay, but Copenhagen was good until I started dipping it more. Like my dip tower is full of Copenhagen wintergreen cans. And let me tell you this. It just grew old to me. It really did. It grew old to me. It got too sweet for me. So I'm just like, you know what? Grizzly is pretty bold. It doesn't have sweet, it doesn't, it's sweet, but it doesn't have a very sweet taste. But, I will say this. If I ever had the chance between Skull and Copenhagen, I'd dip Copenhagen. But if I was given the choice of Copenhagen or Grizzly, pass me that damn Grizzly. So that's 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 the reason why that I switched. Now let's get on to the review. So presentation of the can. I'm really digging the can. I like the gold. I like the uh, the green and gold. Remi reminds me of the, of the Copenhagen winter green can. Not the uh, winter green pouches. But the wintergreen long cut. It reminds me of that. So I'm just like, you know, I'm really digging this can. Although, when it comes to the grizzly cans, they have a better pattern when they do the, the, the camo cans. And I really, I just, there's not really much else that I can say other than I just really love this, this can. I, I love the way that it looks. It, it's flat, so you can put it in your pocket, and it gives you a bigger dip ring. As opposed to Copenhagen, it sticks out. It's thicker in the can. You get the same amount. Uh, in the pouches, you get more pouches in Grizzly than you do Copenhagen for some reason. And, you know, I just, I just like the taste of Grizzly Wintergreen. You know, I don't like their wintergreen long cut, but I like their dark wintergreen. <laughs> like I said before, I can't stand the original uh, long cut wintergreen from, from Grizzly. But man, I love me that dark wintergreen. But, you know, you know, everyone has their, has their preferences. Everyone has their uh, own opinions. So, sorry that this video was pretty short. Uh, you know, it's kind of a thought up on my mind, like, eh, you know what, I should really do a review and elaborate more on my switch from Copenhagen to Grizzly. So, without further ado, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and favorite, share with your friends, family, people you don't even know. And, uh, Keep on cracking and packing. Keep on dipping and spitting. Don't forget to get you some of these sexy ass spittoons. Mudges.com. And uh, I'm Manly Dipper. And I'm out.